Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to Boundless. Welcome back to Boundless, and welcome to another Hidden Gems video. So before we begin, I just wanted to quickly check some notifications. It looks like um, some stuff is uh, sold out, so I'm gonna have to fix that, but First things first, I wanted to go ahead and visit um, another hidden gem that is in Boundless. And today we're going to check out Baby Cookie Land. <laughs> um, and it's on T6, uh, I believe it's Hochus. Um, it's not Baby Cookie Land, guys. It is Cookie Kingdom, actually. And this is where you can find, to me, this is the easiest way to get to Cookie Kingdom, is th to go through the TNT hub and then all the way to Hochus and then her portal is here. So there's Baby Cookie right there. I bet you she wasn't expecting me to be here. So I'm just gonna quickly tell her that I am recording my Hidden Gems video. Um, so um, she's probably AFK, so I don't know. All right, so um, yeah, Baby Cookie, nep nep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where she hangs out. Now, let me tell you guys something really quickly for those of you who don't play Boundless. Hochis is a T6, um, T6 planet. And what I mean by T6, I mean by tier six. So let me break it down for you, okay? Break it down. Um, there are many tiers and it starts with tier one and tier two. Those are the starter planets all the way up to T7. T7 are your exoplanets. Now T6 is one step below exo and they tend to be highly dangerous. Um, by that, um, biomes are a little more dangerous on a T6 um, because they're chock full of um, higher tier creatures, mobs, um, they tend to spawn um, a little more uh, um, hardy <laughs> with more armor. Um, they hit harder, so you can get one shot out here if you're not um, if you're not well armed. So I'm gonna tell you right now. Um, oh gosh, there's a meteor falling. Well, we're in the city, so nothing will fall in the city. I've never seen anything fall in the city. So we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at Cookie Kingdom because this is definitely a place that I don't get to look around enough. As a matter of fact, I've kind of skimmed through here. So it'll be kind of nice just to, to take a look at what is out here. Now, my eye has spied um, over here this dome now i am like really into domes right now because i am in the middle of building one and um i've always been inter interested in seeing how people are doing this and now i'm kind of seeing how they're doing it but this is really really cool i love these pillars here this is such a good idea this is amazing i love how these look like gems with i wonder how people do this because i've been trying to figure this out on my out of my own how to wrap another block around something so i'm curious how this happened i think i i think i know how this is done i think i do i don't know i want to try this out just to test it out myself oh gosh i didn't know that was water there <laughs> didn't know okay you guys already know from the first um episode of hidden gems you know this is gonna be the pixie way okay there's nothing professional about this we're just gonna go around and um check things out so there's tokens so there must be a hub here oh so this is a little warp zone here this is really cool to mcrib okay this is this is actually really cool so is this where like they they meet and like uh go to like the latest exo i think this is what is this is this hoaches this is Hoches. I don't even have a map of Hoches. Let me grab a map of Hoches. Let me just grab one. You know, while I'm here, just grab one. Don't don't look at how broke I am, okay? Don't look at that. All right, so this is actually really cool. I love this dome. I'm going to figure out how to do it. I think what they do is um, I'm starting to see what people are doing. I don't know if I built my, made my building correct enough for that, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, I'm looking at that, and I'm just like, this. that's awesome what they did. Really, really cool. Okay, so over here, what is this? What is this? Portal Seekers, Support, 
supported by NepNep, um, created by Baby Cookie. Uh, not sure. Not sure. Not sure what that is. Okay, so uh, let's take a look. Okay, now this looks like a track to me, a racetrack. I ran around this like I was in a racetrack. Oh, okay, wait a minute, that's water, that's water. Okay, but this is really cool. Now, I do believe she was talking about um, this was her planet. Um, this is really cool. You cannot tell me this is cool. This took a lot of work. I don't know how you can do this. This is like the baby cookie Death Star. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. It took a lot of work. I know. And there's absolutely no way I would be able to do this. My anxiety, just the thought of being that high up building would throw me off completely. But this looks amazing. Absolutely. Absolutely amazing. Okay. So I'm going to continue on around. And can we just get through here? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. This is... Um, looks like a little like plaza. How we get? Can we? Is there a way to get through? Okay, so this this way. I like this. Very calm. Okay, this is amazing. Now what is this? Cookie workshop. Okay, I'm just gonna go in because I'm nosy. Oh. So. Oh. I see. So this is her workshop. Who would have thunk? Oh my gosh, I love it. Builder buff. Gathering, oh my gosh. I love the lighting. This is gorgeous, baby cookie. This is amazing, you guys, this is so cool. Listen how, listen how, listen to how windy it is up here. Wow, okay. This is great. I love it. What an amazing way to hide guild buffs. I mean, talk about thinking outside the box. What is this cookie courtyard? This is the courtyard. So it's here. This is the hub. Okay, so we're back at the hub. She's still staying there. So she's definitely AFK. Okay, so we're gonna continue our uh, little exploration. Um, let's go this way. Uh, Cause we came, I'm not even sure which way we came, um, but Okay, look at the formations even on Hochus. Look how um, we've got these floating mountains. Um, some of these higher tier planets do have like these more dangerous um, planetary arc uh, architectural <laughs> features, I guess. <laughs> Natural features. I, I see a theme, a running theme, and I'm really liking this. I might have to bite off you baby cook if you don't mind because I really want to try working on my chiseling skills and I definitely want to try this out and maybe use this pillar idea that you have going hope you don't mind um yeah I'm just trying to learn and I love what you did here or whoever built this did I love it um and it's just really cool this fits like my Fantasia because you guys don't know me and this is this video isn't even about me all right let's just let's keep it real it's not about me it's about the planet it's about the city but i love the high fantasy medieval um those two really um, architectural um types and uh this really kind of suits both for me like a high fantasy medieval oh look they're just dropping everywhere i'm actually kind of scared because this is out like in the middle of nowhere and anything could spawn and i will get um i will get blued up blued the heck up okay so what's here um look at this gorgeous gorgeous i absolutely love this is wide open oh goodness y'all this is this is dangerous this is dangerous <laughs> this is so dangerous but it's so pretty. Look at look at this planet. You can hear the ice popping. I think um, the the build style suits the planet because this planet is this Church of Pi, like Pi Pi or Pi. I mean, I do love Pi. What is this? Spears of Echelon, God Emperor Pi. Is this like your your pedestal? This is actually a really cool church build. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
they're dropping everywhere let me get back but this is really really pretty gorgeous 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 it's like i said it really fits um the planet because this is an icy planet you can hear the crackling sounds um just a, overall just a really beautiful planet um okay so let's continue on we were in here oh i <laughs> scared for a minute i thought i thought i was gone t6 planets scare me it, i and i have a t6 sovereign planet and i'm scared to be on it's so bad. Um, it's just really hard to mine without like fear of death. Okay, so let's go this way. Um, we didn't visit over here, so we're going to continue on. Um, it, this kind of goes in a circle. So I feel like we can probably explore the buildings a little bit more here than we could with... Oh, look at these at night. Oh my gosh. These pillars look amazing at night. Look how they light up. Oh, I'm definitely trying this. This is probably white. Um, and you can accomplish this with something like Weary Mustard, a really light color um, concrete or marble or just a stone. And the lighting would show through. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love this game for the tricks that you can use with play with with light or, you know, the tricks you can you know what I'm trying to say, right? Okay, because I don't, obviously. Um, these are gorgeous trees. I don't think these are natural colors here. I'm not really sure. I don't know, but this isn't about the planet, but I, that's something I could definitely do is feature, do a planetary feature, maybe? I don't know, what do you guys think? Okay, so we're back here. So you can see how this the, these pillars light up at night. All right, so this looked different, so um, that's why I caught my eye again and we came back over. Again, very pixie, I'm sorry, but um, you can see how different the building looks at night versus what it looks like during the day. Um, all right, so we were over here, we did not see this. We rolled past it. Um, oh, what is over here? So this is a, like another like natural feature of yeah oh goodness y'all see these see this see that look at that look at that oh pets pets <laughs> <I'm out. laughs> but it's pretty look how gorgeous this i love this is like my favorite planet it really is the block color is amazing um it's just scary look at that tree oh my gosh i love this tree I love this tree though. Oh my gosh. I have to do this. Something similar. I have to do this. This looks amazing. Oh my gosh. This is like, this is so my style. This is amazing. I don't know if Baby Cookie is doing this by herself. Okay, she's got a little available spot here. So if you want to build here, there's some available spots. Look at it, it's up. And another me meteor fall. <laughs> These meteors are falling constantly. <laughs> the meteors are falling constantly. That is so terrible. So terrible. Uh, what is this? Gray's gravel. So this is a cute little store. I love the, the foliage. Oh, this what is this? This is um this is another store. Is this like a that's cute? Uh, special items and decor. Blank atlases, very cute store. Love the use of marble and stone. What is up here, I wonder? I wonder how you get up there. There has to be like a portal like up there because there's no way that's just hanging out. What is she's got? Cookie directories. Okay, so maybe we should have stayed here or started here. This is her Discord. So if you're interested in joining her Discord, there's an information there. Um, shops this way, shops this way. What's going on here? Um, cookie director. Okay, this is actually really cool. I love this kind of um, the lighting from the uh, the the uh, signs and stuff really stand out at night. Um, it's another little store here. It's that snap crackle pop. A very cool modern build. Let's take a look at this. Really like this. Hmm. I haven't really done a proper modern build in Boundless, and I really, really like how the cement looks, or the concrete. Why do I keep saying cement? The concrete looks. It's so clean, right? It's 
beautiful. Now these are natural blocks. I think this is, uh, let me get my hammer out. This is cold berry. So cold berry is a natural rock, a natural color rock here in on Hochas. So um, I love how they use the built that that rock to um, blend in with the natural. Let me get my guns out, yeah, because you're gonna need them here. I think they built kind of high, so like nothing's gonna spawn per se. But look, look at the glow in the dark. Um, goats look at them those are the ones you don't mess with when they have like the glow in the dark stuff going on but look at the gleam out in the distance beautiful gleam it lights up this is just an amazingly gorgeous planet just and her workshop just fits right in with the other planet it just looks like a planet itself that is an amazing 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 shot I'll have to come back and take a screenshot of this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now this is actually one of my favorite parts of the, the town. Um, and this angel, really, really cool. I have yet to figure out how to chisel statues. I thought this was really cool. And you can see it as you step out of the castle and then this hammer. And this is, if you're not a boundless player, this is what our hammers look like. As a matter of fact, I can kind of show you, see? It's like a little replica of the hammers that we use. This was actually really cool. Um, and I feel like, okay, let me get the block out the way. I feel like um, I know who built this and I wanna kinda see if the same person, okay, this is Baby Cookie, Giorgio. That's what I thought. Okay, so there's a build by a player named Giorgio that I really want to visit. Now I know this is probably very well known in Boundless or in um, the community of Boundless, but the style of build, I went to go see his base and this style of build, that style of build reminded me of this. This is the funniest thing I've seen in the game so far. The cookies, monstrosity, and they got the gingerbread man. Not my gum drop buttons from Shrek, okay? I know I said it wrong, don't judge me, okay? But you see this? Keep this in mind because this is amazing, right? This is amazing. His whole build is just phenomenal. You have to see it. I cannot wait to tour it with you. I know there's some people that, have, that are very familiar with the build, but there are some folks that don't play Boundless that don't know anything about it. And I mean, when I tell you jaw dropping, but look at his style. Can you even go in here? You can. Okay, we can go in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so we're going in, we're in. We are going in. So you're gonna get a, a brief, okay. See, this is him. This is all him. Check this out. That's amazing, okay? You cannot tell me that's not cool. You cannot tell me this isn't cool. Okay, baby, baby cookies on the move. You can see her. <laughs> She's on the move. I'm just coming to look, baby cookie. She sees me. She sees me. I'm gonna wave to her. Oh, we've got Echo. Okay, so I don't know if there he's done down here or not. Oh, there's is there something under here? I'm afraid to go down. Okay, no, there's not. There is nothing. Abort mission. Abort. Port mission, port mission. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. Okay, that is actually, I think, all that we um, have here. I just wanted to end this tour, quick tour off with um, a, a good look at this. I didn't know this was under here, so I love the cookies. This is awesome. This is so baby cookie. This is actually, it's very suiting for this particular um, builder and baby cookie because the cookies and I assume that this is actually a look this is going oh this is up this is up here this is up here oh, goodness. oh oh my gosh oh no okay we're gonna go down this is way too far up my anxiety just kicked in on 10 all right so um yeah so this is just a quick a great way to segue into my next feature, um, which will be Giorgio's build. I have to remember where exactly what planet it's on, 
but it is a, a feast for the eyes for sure. I definitely hope that you enjoyed this quick tour of Hocha's. Um, cookie Kingdom, Baby Cookie Land, Nep Nep Land. Um, but if you have a a bill that you want featured in Hidden Gems, let me know. Contact me on the forums. I'm easy to find under Pixelated Twix. If you can't find me there, um, you can message me on Discord. I am there too. If you are part of the um, shallow or st shallow stars, <laughs> star hollow purple rain discord. I'm also in the boundless, um, discord. So you can find me there too. All right, guys, until next time I've been pixelated twigs. This is Luna Shale. Ciao.